Welcome to The Boiling Point. There's a lot of different tools of the trade. and Today we're going to go hang out with Jude Wolf to find out a little bit about the manometer. Gauges are everywhere on steam and boiler systems. We've got steam gauges, for example. We've got water pressure gauges gas pressure gauges, but some things when we're dealing with boilers we have to measure that are below the range of a standard PSI gauge. That's where a manometer comes into play. A manometer uses either a hydraulic fluid or water to give us a very small increment of measurement. That allows us to measure pressures that are not even visible on a PSI gauge. Um, so today we're going to look at some of those things. We're going to look at stack draft pressure. We're going to look at pilot regulator pressure, gas manifold pressure, um, just to see how a manometer works and, and what makes it useful. So the proper burner manifold pressure is read after the last controlling element. So if we've got a butterfly valve down there, um, will be after that, which is going to give us an indication of what gas pressure is actually going into the burner manifold. We can read that with our manometer here, but obviously the unit is going to have to be firing to get that measurement. That information of what that manifold pressure should be at or be close to is located on the burner nameplate. So here's our pilot regulator. The pilot re regulator is critical for putting the appropriate amount of pressure on the pilot assembly to have a reliable pilot. By taking that measurement and documenting it, we know that if we change this regulator out sometime in the future, we can put it back to the same pressure and have reliable operation. So we're going to fire this up. When we get to the pilot light off point, we'll see pressure on the manometer. It'll take just a moment to stabilize and then we can look at that reading. So initially we're actually getting wind box pressure or pressure from the fan inside the blower housing on the manometer. When the pilot comes on, we'll hear the solenoid click and then we'll see that pressure uh, change. Light off. Okay, so we've got a pilot pressure of three inches. Then our pilot cuts off once our main flame's established. What we're reading right now is our low fire gas manifold pressure because our burner is currently held in a low fire position. This is the pressure on the manifold at low fire. So here as our burner comes up the firing rate, we can hear the burner getting louder and we can see our, burner, our manifold pressure going up to looks like right at two inches, which is slightly above our high fire stamped manifold pressure, but sometimes other things affect that, like furnace pressure, and we'll look at that next. Right. Furnace pressure is an important measurement for combustion setting as well, because the furnace pressure offsets our manifold pressure to a certain extent and has to be taken into account when we're estimating the firing rate. We take that measurement off the back of the combustion chamber with a tap, and in this case we've got about an inch of furnace pressure. It's also referred to as over fire pressure. This manometer's actually got a useful second scale on it. By rotating it, we can actually measure draft with it, and so we can get an accurate uh, reading of what the draft is at the outlet of the boiler. We're at half an inch right now. A couple useful tips for manometers. Number one, don't stick it on something hot enough to melt it. And number two, if you put this on something that's at a higher pressure than the manometer is scaled for, it's easy to blow the fluid right out of your manometer. Nobody likes that. Whether it's filled with hydraulic or water, uh, convertible design or even an electronic one, uh, manometers are a critical tool 
when you have to make a precise measurement. So something everybody should have in their toolbox. I appreciate Jude hanging out with us talking about the manometer. If you actually need a manometer, you can go out to BoilerWarehouse.com and find one there. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe share a video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.